All right, this is my second life I battle with um Pokemon White. It's a random matchup. This one's a double battle, and I'm actually recording this with my webcam. My webcam can record in 720p, but it only does 15 frames per second. And until I fi until I find how to make it 30, I can't really do that because it's just gonna look really crappy. But I figured I'm just recording game footage, so it's not that big of a deal. So, um. This one was actually a close battle, and I'll be narrating it, but I recorded this, like, three weeks ago, the battle, so, um, I don't really remember everything that happened, and other than that, it's a mm, good battle, I guess, enjoy the video. I was challenged by, yep, some guy in Japan, and he sent out, um, Conkildur and Jellicent. It was a female, obviously, by the pink, you can tell. And I have the Lucario and Shiny Gyarados. Of course, Intimidate activates, and I'll actually turn up the volume a little bit. So I start using Aura Sphere, because I didn't have anything better to use against Conkolder. And it doesn't really hurt that much, unfortunately. But Gyarados bites Jellicent, and it, um, the Ghost type. But unfortunately, it didn't work. Uh, look, that watch. Lucario avoided. Gyarados avoided part of Rock Slide. I didn't really see what Jellicent used, but oh well. And the Toxic um, Poison Conkledur, so I was afraid this is going to turn into a facade. Where he uses facade. So close combat hits, still not as good as it could have been. Well, on other Pokemon at least. Gyarados uses Dragon Dance to raise its attack and speed. Probably useful against Jellicent if Bite only did that much. So then Jellicent uses Hydro Pump on Lucario and close combat lowered the special defense a little and it takes out Lucario. And Rock Slide hits Gyarados, Conkler used it. And instead of Facade, it could be that its ability is Guts, which would double its attack when it's poisoned or um, paralyzed, or any status condition that, except for Confusion, that wouldn't cause it to be unable to attack at all. So I send out Arcanine, and Intimidate hits again, so that lowers their attack, which is probably good if Conqueror is going to keep using Rock Slide. So I think it used Mach Punch on Arcanine. So Gyarados uses Aqua Tail. And Conkledur faints, so that's a relief because that's been terrorizing the Pokemon. Arcanine uses Crunch on Jellicent. And it's still not really even that close to fainting. Defense falls. So it tries to use Ice Beam on Gyarados. And um, Gyarados is on the verge of fainting. So he sends out Hydreigon. And that one's a little scary. And yeah, my Gyarados... Um, I was afraid my Gyarados would faint, because really one good hit with Gyarados actually could do pretty well. So Gyarados uses Ice Fang, and it's super effective, because Hydreigon is Dragon and Dark. And Arcanine uses Crunch on Jellicent. So it finally faints, and of course, Crunch can't be used, but it's not really going to be useful on Hydreigon because of the Dark. Let's see if I can angle this. Uh. So, sends out a shiny Moltres. <laughs> and now, um, if I remember correctly, it was Earthquake thing. No, Old Surf, that's right. So, Moltres uses Protect, and Red Dragon uses Surf. And this is where I thought I was screwed, where I was gonna completely lose. So, Arcanine and Gyarados both fainted. And so I'm stuck with Tyranitar, so I'm afraid, you know, if he's going to keep using Surf, my Tyranitar would eventually faint. And it's not even going to be damaged by the Sandstorm. <laughs> so, he uses Surf, and it actually hurts Moltres this time, but hold on, my cat's on my bed. And... Now Moltres is using a sub I'm making a substitute, so that's why I was a little scared. And I didn't know that um my dragon's ability was levitate, so I wasted a turn. 
and it's still damaged by a sandstorm, and it also has the leftovers. Leftovers actually um, heals a little bit more than the sandstorm damages. Use this protect, so now I'm a little frustrated, but I think I, I could tell that was coming, so I chose to attack um, High Dragon. Yeah. I don't know why I chose Crunch, but hey, it worked. It fainted, so this is where it was really, really, really um, nerve-wracking. <sighs> oh, and that's the phone. Hold on a second. Oh, crap, I might have to answer it. So, um... Okay, looks like oh, it was already answered. Okay. Good. This battle's almost over anyway. <clears throat> and I'm sorry if you can't hear, I'm trying to talk at the microphone, but it's not always easy. So, you just protect, and, um, you know, I'm trying to hit it with a big impact. And it protected itself. And the leftovers heals again. And he tries to make a substitute. At this point, I thought he was too weak, and thinking, oh crap, I'm totally screwed. But then I remembered one very important thing. And I'll take a dramatic pause here. The sandstorm. I win. And I ended up winning whatever his name is. So this was a very close battle. You can actually, um download it if you can find it. I don't know if the video number helps you if you're looking for a, a battle. I really haven't played around with that much. So, um, you can see that it's right there at the bottom. So, thank you for watching, and I'll be posting more Wi-Fi battles. This was a very close battle. I thought it was pretty cool. And, um, stay tuned for future videos, and I'm not going to be using my webcam. It's just for this. Even though I'd probably be better off because I'd have um, an autofocus that, well, this camera is actually meant for video. So this video is about, let's see, it says seven and a half minutes long. Yeah, thanks for watching, and com comment, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe.